Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you a tasker alternative that's both pretty and easy to use. Now I'm a big fan of Tasker. I use it to automate all sorts of common tasks on my phone, and it's almost like magic when a profile kicks in without any interaction from me. But to be honest, Tasker is probably a lot more complicated than most people need it to be, and the entire UI is clunky and just plain ugly. So if you've always found Tasker to be a bit more complicated than you need it to be, you should give MacroDroid a try. It's an automation app just the same, and it even supports Tasker plugins. But the kicker here is it's got a simple and intuitive UI. The app itself is available for free on the Google Play Store, so search it by name to get it installed, or you can use the link in step 1 in my full tutorial. But when you first launch MacroDroid, you'll see right off the bat how much simpler it is than Tasker. To get started with your first automation profile, which is called a macro here, just tap the Add Macro button near the top of the screen. From here, you'll be prompted to select a trigger. This is exactly how it sounds, so it's an event that'll initiate your macro when it occurs. There's tons of different options here, so you can have your macro be triggered by an incoming call, an NFC tag, or even when your device connects to a certain Bluetooth accessory. Then depending on what trigger you choose, you may see an extra pop-up or two, but these should be self-explanatory. For instance, I selected Bluetooth event, and now it wants to know specifically what kind of Bluetooth event, then after I choose device connected, it'll ask me which device. With that stuff settled, we now know that my macro will be triggered when my phone connects to the Bluetooth in my car. Pretty simple so far, right? Well, the next thing it's going to ask is that you add an action to this macro. This is what's going to happen when your trigger event occurs. And just like before, there are tons of options here, but what I'm trying to do here is have my music player app come up automatically when I get in my car. So for that, I'll select Launch Application, then choose my music player from the list. Then, after adding the first action, you can repeat this same process as many times as you'd like if you want the trigger event to kick off several different actions. But if you're just having it do one thing like me, go ahead and press the check mark to move on. Now this last page is purely optional, but it can help make sure your macros don't cause any conflicts with existing settings. A constraint, as they're called, will prevent or allow your macro to run based on certain contexts. So for example, if I don't want my music player opening automatically when my battery is below a certain percent, I could choose battery level from this list and set the percent, then my macro will only kick in when I have enough juice. But like I said, this is purely optional, so you can skip this part and just hit the check mark to move on. At this point, you'll be prompted to name your macro, and you can even put it into a category to help keep things organized if you end up making a lot of macros. When you're done there though, your macro will already be active, it's as simple as that. You can view your creations from the Macros tab on the main menu, and when you head in here, you can see that it's easy to switch them on and off manually when you need to. But then one of my favorite things about MacroDroid is it offers a ton of template macros to get you started. So if you want to check those out, head to the Template section from the main menu, and you'll see a list of all sorts of cool creations. You can select any of these to edit and customize the template a bit, and it's really easy to import it as your own. So it's almost as powerful as Tasker, but at the same time, it makes Android automation so much easier. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.